Park is home to some pretty strange creatures. But when they're covered in slime, most people would throw in the towel. I'm here to meet an animal that I usually spend time avoiding on a rainy day in my back garden. But Graham, you're going to change my opinion about the slug. Well, I hope so. Um, but these are probably one of the, the largest species of slug out there. Um, they're the pancake slugs. Um, they get their name because they're quite sort of pancake coloured and, and they do sort of tend to flatten out when they relax. Yeah, it's very unusual looking. It's nothing like your ordinary garden slug. No, no, I don't think you'd have much of a garden left with these guys in there. Um, they grow up to about 12 centimetres in size, so they are a really enormous slug from Barbados, actually, so they're a tropical. So it's an exotic slug. It is an exotic That's slug, good. yeah. I'm, I'm hoping you won't find these ones in your back garden. Being this close up, I can see there's two eyes there, and what are these two little things underneath? Yeah, these bits here really are like feelers, so it's just tapping away as he's moving, um, and he's looking for anything that is sort of nasty, that he doesn't want to sort of slime mm -hmm. through, anything sharp, but also food as well. Um, so these guys just constantly eat all the time. It's a really cool adaptation down there, and from this angle, it looks like the two stalks of the eyes are coming out from under almost under a hood. Yeah, really unusual for, for this species as well. It does, it comes out under sort of a bit of a mantle at the top there, and that's just an extra form of protection. Um, so, if, you know, if you were to sort of just disturb him at the front there, you'll see that ah, his eyes retract yeah. straight back inside, and then he's poking them out, making sure it's all safe again before he moves on again. Now, Graham, you keep saying he. Have you sexed this slug? No, I should probably correct myself on that, actually. They are hermaphrodites, uh, which wow. means they're both male and female. Um, so that's, that's a really sort of unusual feature for, for most of the sort of gastropods, the, the snails and the slugs. He or she doesn't really make any difference. I don't think, I don't think he gets that offended by it, but um, basically <laughs> they can produce both eggs and mate with the other sex as well. Well, I have to say, Graham, you know, they do have a bad reputation, but watching him for a little while, he's, he's really interesting. I think you've changed my opinion. I'm glad. Yeah, it's great.